We're going to start here rolling our shoulders up, down, and back. Deep breaths in. Keep breathing. I had to fix the music. <laughs> Big breaths in. Take your fingertips to the sky. We're going to do this three times. Hands from hips, fingers to sky. Here's the last one. Add forward fold right here. Fingertips to the mat. Inhale up to flat back. And hands to toes again. Reach up. Big inhale up to the sky. Flex backwards. Hands to toes, flat back. And reverse that swan dive all the way up to the sky. Bring your hands down to heart center. Big breath. Today, find those spots in your body that need work. Open up palms to sky, hands to toes, forward fold. Up into flat back, down to the toes, big reach up into the sky. From here, we're going to take it down to the floor. Step your hands and feet out, upward dog, big breath in, tuck those toes, push back into downward dog. Push your chest back, and then slowly walk your feet up into your hands. Reverse that swan dive all the way back up to a big mountain. Power from the bottom, nice and strong, and then down, hands to toes. Up into flat back, hands to toes. Reach up tall into that mountain again. And we're lowering down into chair pose, holding here. Lift your chest, biceps by the ears, put your weight into your heels, and then lift. Pull down in a chair. Hold it, big breath in, reach up to the sky, fingertips into mountain. Find your chair. Step your right foot back here, reach long into crescent pose. Driving through your right heel, hands are drawn down into prayer pose. Take that energy here, pull it out into your fingertips. And step up strong into mountain pose because we are strong right here. And then down into forward fold. Hands to the floor, hands to knees at flat back, hands to floor, and big reach up tall into mountain, big breath. Same thing, chair pose. Lift. Chair, sink it in deep. Pull that belly button into your back. And step it back into the left leg, crescent. Reach long. And pull your hands down here to prayer at heart center. Gather that heart fire. Pull it out into your hands. And step up tall into your mountain here. Make your mountain taller and stronger. And forward fold. Breathe it down. All the way to the floor. Inhale up, upward dog. Squeezing the glutes and then push strong back into downward dog. Biceps by the ears, driving your heels down. And then walk the feet back up. Roll of one vertebrae at a time. And when you get to the top, we're rolling our shoulders up, down, and back. Big reach up into mountain. Make sure we're breathing, connecting to your breath deep into your belly. Right foot stepping back strong into a crescent. And we're going to move through our warriors. 
turn your right foot down into warrior one, driving your right hip forward, opening strong into warrior two. Open the chest, open the ribs. I've got help. This is a family affair, it happens. And here's warrior three. Your right hand comes down by your knee, your left arm is opening, reaching, opening the side of the body. Flex back into warrior two and reach a little further over your knee. Swing it back up into warrior one. Crescent. And drive it up into mountain. Make any adjustments that you need, it's no problem. Hands come to mat for forward fold, then to shins for flat back, down to toes, and up, breathe. There's that energy there, and take that left leg back into crescent. Turn your left foot down into warrior, warrior two. There's a beautiful sun over there. Reach over your knee and then pull it back into warrior three. Think about lengthening from your hip to your ribs to your shoulder, out your fingertips into the sky. Back into warrior two. Bring it back into warrior one. <clears throat> and then crescent pose. Step up strong into your mountain, flexing, bending, reaching down. Release your low back a little bit here. Flat back, hands to toes, and reverse that swan dive up. Bring that air with you. And we're adding twists next. Start in crescent pose here on the right. Turn that right foot down in warrior one. Hands come down into heart center. There's that power. Pull that power across your body into warrior two. And left hand is coming down inside the ankle. Up. Breathe here. Bring the breath all the way down through your chest, down into your tailbone. Flexing back up into warrior two. Warrior one. Crescent pose. And twisting the other way, right palm comes down. If you can't get your palm to the mat, just rest that right elbow on your right knee. Stay here for another breath. Both hands come to the mat, both feet back, and upward dog, downward dog combo. Really drive through this downward dog. Walk your feet into your hands. And take that big, powerful reach up. Feel that energy rise with you as you lift your heart to the sky. On the left side now, crescent pose to start, warrior one. Warrior two. And then your right hand comes down inside the ankle. Open the chest. Try and get that arm straight up as strong as you can. If you can't get to the floor here, the same. Rest that right elbow on your right knee. Flexibility takes time. Pull back up into your warrior two. There's my little girl out there. Back into warrior one. Crescent pose. Rotating the other way. Left hand comes down. Open that chest the other way towards your knee. Breathe it in. Both hands to the floor, both feet back. Now really pay attention to this upward dog, downward dog combo. You should have some more room in your spine, some more room in your breath.
walking our feet here back up into our hands. And breathe that up. Draw your hands down to your heart. Take a beat, take a breath for you. Take time for you. And we're gonna take those fingertips again. Inhale up. Sinking down into your chair. Think long from the tailbone to the crown of the head. And then step back low into your crescent, strong. Drawing hands down to heart center. We're turning our right foot down in the back, hands to hips. So just focus on lengthening through the legs and then straighten and both toes turn forwards into straddle stretch. A big breath here, a big reach. Oh wow, all the way up into the sky. Hands to heart center. Rotating that front foot back into warrior one. Hands pull apart, spread that energy out across your body. Bring it back into crescent pose. Flat back, reach to the floor, inhale up. We're gonna find our chair, weight in the heels, Left leg goes back. And we're gonna repeat that straddle stretch series on the left, hands to heart center. Rotating your right foot back. Long and strong, power from your chest out through the hands. Straightening the leg, toes facing forwards. Put your hands on your hips. And when you're comfortable, reach toward the floor for your straddle stretch on this side. From the bottom, gather that power. Inhale up. You should feel so powerful here. Hands come tight to your heart. Right toe goes back forward. We're gonna open the hands with all of that love and energy in our hearts back into warrior two. And back into warrior one. Crescent pose and mountain is where we rest. Exhale down. Hold it for a big breath here. This is a big moment of surrender. Your hamstrings should be open, your body should be giving. Bring that up, hands come up, fingertips to the sky, hands to heart center, breathe in. Anchor yourself here on your right leg. We're gonna take a balance pose, tree pose, with your left leg right above the knee or at the ankle for your balance pose. I'm extending my arms overhead, but you can keep yours down at heart center. Holding here, breathing, focusing on being rooted and grounded and connected into our energy. Step your left foot back, hands to toes. Keep your hips squared, both feet facing forward in this triangle stretch. This is all the back of the right leg. And then you're gonna step your feet up even, weight back in both feet, stretching both legs, and then inhale up to the sky. Hands to heart here. Lots of heart work in this. And repeat on the other side. Root yourself on your left. Right foot rests above the knee or at the ankle. Hands rest at heart center or extend overhead. If 
And in this flow, think of your heart as the source of all of your power. And every time hands are there, that's where we are reconnecting with that power. Step that right foot back. Hands come back over the left foot. Keep those toes pointed forward. Really drive for square here. It should all be in the back of the left leg, in the left hamstring, the left hip. Step those feet together. And try and deepen your hamstring stretch right here. And then big breath up to the sky. And we're taking it back to the mat here, transitioning to the mat with a forward fold and then up dog, down dog combo. Flat back. Step those feet out. And then upward dog squeeze the seat. Really keep those elbows beside the ribs, shoulders away from your ears. Tuck those toes, drive it back into your downward dog. Nice work. Pedal your heels here. Should have some nice flexibility in the back of the body by this time. Drive your right foot up and then draw it up into your chest across your body into a pigeon stretch. So try and take the weight off of your hands and release everything into your hips. You can lower down if you like. We're gonna tuck those toes on the left foot, draw the right leg back out, upward dog again. Big inhale. Hey. <laughs> downward dog. Left leg draws up and then into your chest across your body into pigeon. It's so beautiful. So we're bringing that energy from the top down, driving back here into downward dog. and then bend your knees toward the edge of your mat, drop into child's pose. Really extend through your chest, through your shoulders. We're gonna take a kneeling inhale up. And hips come forward, one hand at a time, drop backs to heels for camel pose. Your chin lifts back here. If this isn't comfortable for you, just stay in child's pose. And then sweeping back forward into that child's pose. We're going to take cat and cow here, arching up, releasing down about five times. Inhale up, push it down, really flex both ways. And let's bring our legs around in front. We're going to take seated forward fold. Inhaling up first, pushing the chest over the thighs. As close as you can get. Inhale up. Extend again. Can you go further? Can you go deeper? Roll your shoulders here. Hands to hips, draw your feet in. We're going to balance up onto our tippy toes and we're going to extend the hips up tall, kind of rounding from the ground up and then pushing the heels down. And then draw it down again, tippy toes, rounded, and then push the hips up, then drive the heels down. One more. 
And then we will power up from the floor. Yes. Thank you so much. This was beautiful. Hands to heart center.